today we are going to start exercise 1b with the practice so let's start practice 9 find the highest common factor of 56 and 84 using both method here you can see the both method number one is common prime factors and number two is the HCF or LCM method so let's solve number one which is 56 and 84 here we have simply solve the method 2 2 is a 4, 2 8 is a 16, 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4, 2 1 is a 2, 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4, 2 1 is a 2, 2 7 is a 14 and 7 3 is a 21. Now these two numbers are not the common multiple of any table so we have to stop here. Now the numbers we have is 2 2 and 7. 2 2 and 7 so the answer is 28 in second method we just have to write the common factors of 56 separate and 84 separate now we have to take the common between both the numbers or we have to write all the numbers in a line so we have to write all the numbers in line then we have to take the common 2 and 2 common 2 and 2 common and 7 and 7 common so now we have to multiply all the common numbers 2 multiplied by 2 2 2 is a 4 4 7 is a 28 so the answer in both the conditions will remain same number 2 is find the largest whole number which is a factor of both 28 and 70 here I have written first the multiple of 28 and 70 common factors. So we have to take that CF of 28 and 70. After taking that CF, we have to find the common. So these are the factors of 28, 2, 2, and 7. These and then 2, 2, and 5. Now we have to find the common. The common is 2 and 7. So we have to multiply 2 and 7. 2 7 is a 14. So the largest whole number of 28 and 70 is 14. Number 3 is the sum of 5 4, 504 and 588 written as a product of their prime factors. It means that the prime factors are already given. We just have to use this prime factors and write the greatest whole number that will divide both the numbers so let's find the greatest whole number first we have to write all the factors which is given so the factors of 504 is 2 3 7 and the factors of 588 is 2 3 and 7 now here i have write these numbers separately without the notification 2 upon 3 means 3 times 2 2 up 3 upon 2 means 2 times 3 then 7 after writing this separately we just have to take the common 2 2 3 and 7 now we have to take one one number from the common like 2 2 3 and 7 now we have to multiply all the numbers 2 2 is a 4 4 3 is a 12 12 7 is a 84 now we have to solve the similar questions from this practice which is from exercise 1b question number 1a b 3 4 and 9 so let's solve question number 1 a b find the highest common factor of each of the following set question number 1 12 and 30 question number b 84 and 156 so let's see the solution here 12 and 13 first I have taken the prime factors so the prime factors of 12 and 30 is 2 and 3 when we multiply 2 and 3 the answer is 6 it means the that highest common factor of 12 and 30 is 6 same as it is we have to solve the second question 84 and 156 so the prime factors of 84 and 156 is 2 2 and 3 we have to stop here because both the numbers are different from different from each other and they are not 
the multiple in any same table so 2 2 and 3 when we multiply all these three numbers the answer is 12 so the HCF of 84 and 156 is 12 the next question which is related to practice 9 is find the largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98 so let's find the factor of 42 and 98 here I have written the factors of 42 which is 2 3 and 7 as you can see and the factors of 98 is 2 7 7 now the largest whole number which is a factor of both 42 and 98 is so first we have to find the common 2 and 7 so 2 and 7 2 7 is 14 it means that 14 is the largest common factor of 42 and 98 in simple words it means that 14 is easily divided with 98 and with 42 question number four is also related with the same practice now nine here we have the number nine seven seven ninety two and nine ninety written as the product of their prime factors so here you can see the prime factors are already given what you have to do you just have to take these prime factors take out the common numbers and then multiply the number to find the greatest whole number that is exactly divided by both the numbers so let's find here we have the factors of 792 990 so we have take 2 because here we have 3 2 and here we have only 1 so we have to take only 1 here we have 3 2 and 3 2 so we take both here we have the 11 so after taking these commons we have to multiply the numbers 2 multiply 3 multiply 3 multiply 11 3 upon 2 means 2 times 3 6 3 is 18 18 11 is 98 so the greatest whole number that will divide both 792 and 990 is 198 let's check whether it is divisible by the numbers or not so to check we simply write 792 divided by the answer 198 so the answer is 4 number next is 990 divided by 198 so the answer is 5 it means that 198 can easily be the dividable of 792 and 990 question number 9 is also related with the practice 9 determine whether each of the following statement is true or false if it is true explain your reason and if it is false give a counter example it means we have to write the examples with each true or false so number a is if 6 is a factor of a number then 2 and 3 are also a factor of that number so let's find out the answer so here is the solution as 6 is a factor of 12 6 is also a factor of 12 we can clearly see that 2 and 3 are also the factor of 12 so it means that the statement is true because 12 is a number where 6 2 and 3 all are the factors of 12 and 2 and 3 is also the factor of 6 in the table of 2 we have 6 in the table of 3 we have 6 so this is statement is true number B is if 2 and 3 are the factors of a number then 6 is also a factor of that number let's find out the answer as 2 and 3 are the factors of 6 12 and 18 2 and 3 are the factors of 6 12 and 18 all these numbers are in the table of 2 
and in the table of 3. So we can clearly observe that 6 is also the factor of 12 and 18. It means 6 is also a factor of 12 and 18. So this statement is true. Or the easiest method is to find the factor. We simply take the LCM of these two methods. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. 6 is divisible by 3 and divisible by 2. Let's read the statement number 3, number C. If 2 and 4 are the factors of a number, then 8 is also a factor of that number. Let's see. As 2 and 4 are the factors of 4, because both the numbers are in the table of 4. But we can observe that 8 is not the factor of 4, because in the table of 8, we don't have 4. So 8 is not the factor of 4. Or if we take the LCM of 2 and 4, the answer is 4. It is a false. Statement number D is, if f is a factor of n, then f upon n is also a factor of n. So let's find out the answer. Here we have take the numbers as an example. Let's suppose that n means 2. Let n means 2 is a factor of 6. Then f upon n means 6 upon 2. This is f and this is n. 6 upon 2 is also a factor of 6. Yes, because both are the same multiples. So this is a true statement. Number e is if h is the hcf of p and q then both p and q are divisible by h so let's solve this with an example let 2 is the hcf h 2 is the hcf of p and q then both p and q 2 and 4 are divisible by Two are divisible by h so instead of variables we take the numbers let 2 is the hcf of 2 and 4 then both 2 and 4 are divisible by 2 yes 2 in the table of 2 and 4 in the table of 2 so this statement is also true practice now 10 here we have to find the hcf of 90 135 270 So here is the HCF of 90, 135 and 290. After finding the common, after finding the prime factors of all these three numbers, we have to write the numbers here, 90, 2, 3, 3, 5. These numbers, 135, 3, 3, 3 and 5. 270, 2, 3, 3. 3, 5. Now, after writing the prime factors of all these three numbers, we have to take the common between all these three numbers. So the first common is 3, then again 3, then 5. From these three common numbers, we have to take one one number, 3, 3 and 5. Now, we have to multiply these three numbers, 3, 3 is a 9, 9 fives are 45. So from this practice, we can easily solve the similar question of question number 1, C and D. So let's solve. So question number C is, find the HCF of 15, 60, 75, highest common factor, 77, 91 and 143. So let's find... Number C, here we have the prime factors of 15, 60 and 75. So the prime factors are 3 and 5. Now we have to write this 3 and 5 and then multiply 3 5s are 15. So the highest common factor of 15, 60 and 75 is 
15. Number D is 77, 91 and 143. Here we have all the three factors of these number 77, 91, 143. So the factors of 77 is 7 and 11. Factors of 91 is 7 and 13. Factors of 143 is 11 and 13. Now we don't have any common here. So if we don't have any common in both all the numbers so we take 1 as the HCF highest common factor of the number practice 11 here we have find the lowest common multiple LCM of 24 90 using both the methods so here we have the LCM of 24 and 90 with both the method first we have to write the multiple of 24 2 2 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so we are going to use 8 3 the 8 3 the 24 so we have 3 2 and single 3 90 2 3 the 6 6 3 the 18 18 5 the 90 so now we have to take the common after taking the common or in the LCM we have to take the numbers 2 and 2 common 3 and 3 common so after taking the common in LCM we have to write the remaining numbers as well in HCF highest common factor we just write the common numbers but in LCM after writing the common numbers we have to write the remaining numbers as well as you can see we have total 1 2 3 4 but we just write 1 2 3 because these two are common so we take only 1 and then remaining 2 same as it is we have 1 2 3 but we take only 2 because these two are common and the remaining is 1 5 is separate so we write the 5 here now we have to multiply all the numbers and write the answer method 2 is we simply write the prime factorization of the number 24 and 90 and then multiply all the numbers so the answer is 3 to 60 answer will remain same in both the methods number b number 2 the numbers 120 and 126 written as a product of their prime factor it means that the prime factors are already given we just have to write the answer which is divisible by 120 and 126 the answer is the smallest whole number so here we just write the prime factors of 120 which is already given in the question and prime factors of 126 after writing the prime factors we take the common and write the remaining numbers and multiply all the numbers we can also check the answer by dividing it. If we divide 2520 with 120, the answer is 21. 2520 divided by 126, these two numbers. The answer is 20. It means that 2520 is divisible by 120 and 126. So the answer is 2520. Number 3 is find the smallest value of n such that the LCM of n is 6 is 24. So we have to find this. To find the value of n we have to write the factors of 6 and factors of 24. So the factor of 6 is 2 3 is 6. And the factors of 24 is 2, 2, 2 and 3. 2, 2 is a 4, 4, 2 is a 8, 8, 3 is a 24. After writing the factors of 6 and 24, the common number between these two is 2. 
टू रिमेनिंग टू टू सो टू टू जो फोर फोर टू जो एट सो हेयर वी हैव टू टेक द स्मॉलेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ एन सो वी जस्ट टेक टू एज अ कॉमन इन द रिमेनिंग टू सो द आंसर इज एट इट मीन्स एन इज इक्वल टू एट The similar questions related to practice eleven is one B, question two A B, five six, question ten and eleven. So let's solve all these questions. So let's solve question A B. Find the lowest common multiple of each of the following set: twenty four and thirty, forty two and four sixty two. Let's solve these two questions first. Here we have question number two a, twenty four and thirty. First, we have to take the common prime factors. After writing the prime factors, we simply multiply all the numbers and write the answer. Same as it is, we have to take forty two and four sixty two, write the prime factors, and then multiply all the prime factors, so we can get the answer. Next question, which is related to the same practice, is question number five. The number one seventy six and three forty two written as the product of their prime factors. So the prime factors are given. It means we don't have to solve this again. Now we simply write the smallest whole number, which is divisible by both the numbers. So let's solve question number five. So here we have to write the smallest whole number that is divisible by both. First, we have to write the prime factors of one seventy six, two four and eleven. I have write this open form three forty two. Again, I have write this in the open form. Now, we have to take the common from both the numbers. I have take common from this and this two four. Three two, eleven, and nineteen, eleven, nineteen. All the numbers. And if we open this, we are going to write this as two four one two three four, three two one two, then eleven, then nineteen. If we multiply all these two, the answer is sixteen. These three nine, eleven, and nineteen. Sixteen nines are one forty four, eleven, and nineteen. One forty-four multiplied by eleven, one thousand five hundred and eighty-four. Multiplied by nineteen, thirty thousand ninety-six. Now we have to check this with the divisible. So we are going to divide this thirty thousand ninety-six with one seventy-six. Thirty thousand ninety-six divisible by one seventy-six. So the answer is one seventy-one. Again, thirty thousand ninety-six divisible by three forty-two. So the answer is eighty-eight. It means that. Three thousand ninety-six is divisible by one seventy-six and three forty-two. Number six is find the smallest value of n such that the LCM of n n fifteen is forty-five. So first we have to write the factors of fifteen and forty-five. Fifteen and forty-five. We just have to write the factors. Of fifteen here, smallest common multiple three two, so three three is a nine. It means nine is the value of n. Question number ten is also related to practice eleven. The LCM of nine and twelve is n is two fifty two. If n is odd, find all the possible value of n. So let's find the possible values of n. 
first we have to write the factors of 9, 12 and 256, 252. Here you can see the factors of 9, 12 and 252. After writing the factors, we have to write the possible values of n. The possible values of n should be 7, 3, 7 or 3, 3, 7. 7, 3, 7 is 21. 3, 3 is 9. 9, 7 is 63. So, these three should be the possible value of n. Question number 11 is also related to practice 11. Determine whether each of the following statement is true or false. If it is true, explain your answer. If it is false, counter examples. Number A is, if 6 is a multiple of a number, then 12 is also a number of multiple of that number. Let's see. As 6 is a multiple of 2, 3 and 6, 12 is also a multiple of 2, 3 and 6. It means that 6 is in the table of 2, 3 and 6. 12 is also in the table of 2, 3, 6. So this is true. Now, number B is if 12 is a multiple of a number, then 6 is also a multiple of that number. Let's see. Here we have 2, 3, 6, but 12 is in the table of 2, 3, 4 and 6. So 4 is not common in both the tables. It means that this statement is false. 12. Now let's see. 6 can be solved with 2, 3 and 6. But 12 can be solved with 2, 3, 4 and 6. 4 is not common in both the numbers. So 12 is a multiple of 4. But 6 is not a multiple of 4. It means that this statement is false. Number C is. If 18 is a multiple of a number, then 18 is a divisible by that number. A multiple of a number is divisible by that number exactly. Yes, it is true. If the number is multiplied with the same number, it is exactly dividable by the multiple. So, this statement is true. Number D is, if M is the LCM of P and Q, then m is divisible by both p and q so let's suppose m and p and q with the number we have suppose p 2 q 4 so the multiple of 2 is 2 4 6 8 10 the multiple of 4 is 4 8 12 16 20 and so on but we have to find the lcm it means lowest common multiple so the lowest common multiple between is 4. 4 is divisible by 2 and 4 is divisible by 4. It means m is divisible by p and q and the value of m is 4. So this statement is true. Practice 12. Find the LCM of 9, 30 and 108. So here we have practice now 12. The LCM of 9, 30 and 108 is... 2, 3, 3, 5, 6. Let's solve this prime factors. We have to multiply all the numbers. So we get the answer. 2, 3 is a 6. 6, 3 is a 18. 18, 5 is a 90. 96 is a 540. So the LCM of 9, 30 and 108 is 540. Now the similar questions with this practice is question number 2, C and D. Let's solve these two questions. Here we have find the LCM of 12, 18, 81, 63, 80 and 102. Here we have the LCM of 12, 18 and 81. First we have to write the prime factors. After writing the prime factors we have to multiply all the numbers and we can get the answer which is 324. Same as it is, we have to solve the next question, which is 63, 80 
and 102. First, we have to write the prime factors of the number. Then we have to multiply all the numbers. 2 multiply by 2 multiply 4 times 16. 3 multiply 2 times 9, 5, 7 and 17. Then we multiply all the numbers. So the answer is 85,680. Now here we have practice 13 which is 3 bells toll at rectangular interval of 15 minutes. 16 minutes and 36 minutes respectively. Give that they toll all together at 2 p.m. at what time will they next toll all together. Simply we just have to take the time which is 15, 16, 36. 15, 16, 36. Take the prime factors of all the number. After taking the prime factors, we have to multiply all the numbers. When we multiply all the numbers together, we get the answer. 2 multiplied 2. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Then we have one, two. And then we have five. So the answer is seven twenty. Seven twenty minutes converted into hours. Seven twenty divided by sixty. So the answer is twelve. Seven twenty means twelve hours. 12 multiplied by 60 is 720. So the three bells will next toll all together at 2 am. Number 2 is Farhan has three pieces of rope with length 140, 168, 210. He wished to cut all the three pieces of rope into smaller pieces of equal length such that there is no leftover rope. What is the greatest possible length of each of the small piece? How many small pieces of rope can he get all together? Let's find out the answer. In the first step, we simply have to take 140, 168 and 210 HCF because we have to write the greater possible number. To find the greater possible number, we use HCF method, highest common factor. So. Here we have the highest common factor which is 14. 2 7 the 14. Number B we have to find the smallest pieces. So 140, 168 and 210. All the three numbers divisible by 14. Highest common factor. Now we have to divide 140 with 14. So the answer is 10. 168 with 14, the answer is 12. 14 with 210, so the answer is 15. Let's see. 140 divided by 14, 10. 168 divided by 14, 12. 210 divided by 14, 15. Now we have to add all the numbers so the answer is 13. It means that how many smaller pieces of rope can he get all together? He can get 37 pieces of rope all together. Now let's see the similar questions of 1B related to this practice. Question 7, 8, 12, 13, 14 and 15. So let's solve these questions. Question 7 is... Yogzin need to pack 171 pens, 63 pencils and 27 erasers into identical gift bag so that each item is equal, equally distributed among the gift box. Find the largest number and the numbers of each item in the bag. So first the largest number it means we have to take the HCF of all these three numbers 171, 63, 27. So let's Take the HCF of this number 171, 
6327 so these all are the prime factors after writing the prime factors we have to take the common because we are taking hcf so the common between all these three numbers is 3 and 3 so 3 3 is a 9 it means that the number gift bag that can be packed is 9 Part B is the numbers of each item in the bag. So we have to divide each item with nine. So let's see, one seventy one divided by nine. Let's divide one seventy one divided one seventy one divided by nine. So the answer is nineteen. Sixty-three divided by nine, seven. Twenty-seven divided by nine, three. So this is the answer. Question number eight is: Two races car, car X, car Y, are the starting point of two kilometer track at the same time. Car X and car Y make one lap every sixty second and every eighty second, respectively. How long in second it will take for both cars to back at the starting point at the same time? How long in minutes will it take for the faster car to be five laps ahead of the slower car? So let's find. First, we have to take the LCM of sixty and eighty, both the time laps. So the LCM of sixty is two three five, and eighty is two four. Now we have to take the common two four three and five. In LCM we have to write all the numbers, but common numbers only one time. So that's why two and four is six. But if we take the common, we have only four left. So two. Multi two multiply four times is sixteen. Sixteen multiply by three multiply by five is two forty. It will take two forty seconds for both. Five multiply by two forty because we have to find the five laps. Two forty multiply by five is twelve hundred. But we have to write the time in minutes, so we have to multiply this twelve hundred with sixty. Twelve hundred divided by sixty is twenty minutes. It will take twenty minutes to the fastest car to cover the five laps. Question number twelve is: Kate wishes to cut some square from a vanguard sheet with a length of sixty-four, breadth forty-eight. She likes the square to be as big as possible, and she does not want any leftover vanguard sheet. What is the length of each square? How many squares can she cut all together? So first we have to write the factors of sixty-four and forty-eight because we are doing HCF and LCM. So we have to take the prime factors of each numbers. So here we have to take HCF because we have to find the bigger possible. So the HCF and LCM of sixty-four and forty-eight is. Two six times one two three four five six, and forty eight means two 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 four and three. Now we have to take the common from the number. So the common between is two, two, two. Two four times. Two four time means two upon four means four times two. And if we multiply two four times, we have the answer sixteen. Number B is how many squares can she cut all together? So sixty four sixteen, forty eight sixteen. This answer multiplied. We have to cut these numbers. Sixteen one the sixteen, sixteen three is a forty eight, sixteen one the sixteen, sixteen four is a sixty four. So the remaining is four and three. Four threes are twelve. It means that she can cut twelve squares all together. Question number thirteen is: A class has between thirty to forty students 
each boy in the class bring 15 chocolates bar for a class party to celebrate teachers day the chocolates bar are shared equally among 20 girls of the class and their forum teacher with no leftover it means that the number of girls girls 20 and the forum teacher is 1 so we have 20 girls and teacher 1 now we have to find number of boys we don't have the number of boys so what we are going to do the number of chocolate bar is 15 each boy bring 15 chocolates so 15 multiplied by n n is the number we suppose for the boys so now we have to make the factors of 15 the factors of 15 is 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by n 3 5 is a 15 when we add the girls and the teacher the total number is 21 and the factors of 21 is 3 and 7 it means that 3 is common between the numbers so we have to take n with the multiple of 7 because the class is between 30 to 40 students so if we take 20 girls plus 7 is 7 boys 20 girls plus 7 boys so it is 27 it is not between 30 to 40 if we take 20 plus 14 the number is 34 which is between 30 to 40 and if we take 20 girls plus 21 boys we are taking the multiple of 7 so it is 41 which is more than 40 so this is wrong this is wrong it means we can take 14 for the boys so n is equals to 7 14 or 21 we have to take any of them so we check 27 is not correct because it is not between 30 to 40 14 is between 30 to 40 21 is more than 40 so we have to take 14 for the number of boys now we have boys plus girls means 14 plus 20 is 34 now we have to subtract 15 girls 14 boys and total 21 girls and teacher now we have to solve this 7 2 is a 14 7 3 is a 21 3 1 is a 3 3 5 is a 15 So the remaining numbers are 5 multiplied by 2. 5 2 is a 10. It means that there are 10 boys in the class and each boy bring 15 chocolate bars. Number 13 is Michael is an art electric program student who is working on an assignment. He plans to cover a rectangular sheet of paper in dimension 126 cm by 108 what is the least number of square pattern formed? How do you determine what other shapes can pattern if they are to fit the sheets of paper perfectly? So, first we have to take the HCF of 126 and 108, which is 2337, 22333. Let's take the HCF of 126. 2 6 is a 12, 2 3 is a 6, 3 2 is a 6, 3 1 is a 3, 3 7 is a 21, 7 1 is a 7. So as you can see, 2 3 3 7, 108, 2 5 is a 10, 2 4 is a 8, 2 2 is a 4, 2 7 is a 14, 3 9 is a 27, 3 3 is a 9, 3 1 is a 3. So these are all the prime factors of 108. After 
writing these prime factors we have to take common and then multiply all the common numbers so the length of what is the least number of a square pattern that can be formed on the sheet of paper so the length of 18 cm of a square sheet can be formed on the paper so we have the answer 18 now we have to find the square pattern formed on the sheet paper 18 126 18 108 two methods now we have to solve 18 ones are 18 18 six are 108 18 ones are 18 18 sevens are 126 so we have the remaining number 7 and 6 7 6 are 42 it means that 42 numbers least number 42 square pattern that could be formed on the sheet of the paper 42 number b is how do you determine what other shapes can be the pattern b if they are to fit the sheet of paper perfectly so to fit the sheet of paper perfectly the pattern can be rectangular triangle trapezium with two right angles it means at least two right angles should be there in the shape so it should be fit exactly on the paper question number 15 the last question of the exercise Michael the art electric program student is working on another assignment he designed a rectangular pattern of 45 meter 42 millimeter he is required to use identical rectangular pattern to form a square a maximum area of the square is allowed to 1.6 meter square 6 meter square so what we have to do we simply have to take the LCM of 45 and 42 because we have to write the maximum area so we have to take the LCM least common of 45 and 42 let's see so the LCM of 45 is 3 1 the 3 3 5 the 15 3 5 the 15 and 5 1 the 5 3 3 5 and 42 2 2 the 4 2 1 the 2 3 7 the 21 7 1 the 7 2 3 7 now we have to take least common these two are the common 2 3 3 7 5 when we multiply all the numbers the answer is 630 so, so now we have to divide this 630 with 45 and 42 so 45 and the 45 45 14 the 630 41 42 and the 42 42 15 the 630 now we have the remaining numbers 15 and 14 when we multiply 14 with 15 the answer is 210 now we have to write 630 millimeter into meters so we have to divide with 1000 to write the answer so the answer is 0 0.63 area of a smallest square can be formed so we have to take the square of this number when we take the square of 0 0.63 we get the answer 0 0.3969 so here we have 630 630 divided by 1000 to convert this millimeter into meter so the answer is 0 0.63 area of a smallest square can be formed we have to take the square of this number so the answer is 0 0.3969 now we have area of the largest square that can be formed we have to multiply this number with 4 we have to multiply this number with 4 so the answer is 1.5876 length of largest square formed we have to take the square root of this number and if we take the square root of this number the square 1.5876 so the answer is 1.26 so this is the complete explanation of your exercise 1b of chapter number 1
hope you guys like it don't forget to subscribe and share